Hey Sagittarius, I hope you're doing well. Uh, this is going to be a general reading for what you don't see coming this weekend. So this is for April 5th through the 7th. Uh, any information you need, you can find it in the description box down below. I do have personals open. There are two different options. Uh, there's a two question video reading and a three question video reading. If you get the three question video reading, Sagittarius, you get that within two business days after purchase. So everything's down below. We already have some cards wanting to fly out for you and it is the Knight of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles, okay? So we have Gemini energy and Capricorn energy. I feel like there's a, a tension here. There's a little bit of tension. You want something to speed up here. I feel like I feel like what you don't see coming about this, though, is that somebody may come at you defensively, okay, Sagittarius? I feel like there's something here that you're trying to invest in or get going. You know, it seems to me as if you're just trying to, you know, it's almost as if this is probably not the case. To be honest, for a lot of you, this is probably a connection because you have court cards out here. But say you're trying to get, like, a project done and everybody's kind of dragging their feet and, you know, you're just trying to lift everybody up and say, hey, let's get this done, you know. Um, what more can I do to help you, <laughs> you know, engage in this and get it done, right? And they're just, you know, they come at you defensively, right? It's that kind of energy here where... I feel like you're trying to get something off the ground and you're frustrated because somebody's coming at you in a, in a defensive manner here. Seven of Swords, trickery, theft, deception. Um, I would be careful, okay? I would be careful because it seems to me as if somebody's giving you the runaround in a situation. Um, some of you, this could be a work situation here, I suppose. Um, but I feel like for a small portion of you, there is something that has been moving in the same direction for too long and you're being given the runaround here. Somebody might have their moon in Aquarius. Or something's being hidden. You know, I almost feel this energy of embarrassment. Um, somebody needs to move, get out of their living situation that they're in. So I do feel that's a factor here for someone. The Seven of Swords, I think that's what they're hiding. Like they're in a weird living situation. Or it's like their environment is not the best. Um, like maybe their home has a lot wrong with it or something, right? It could be something like that here. But the chariot, I feel like they need to move or they're embarrassed of their vehicle. I feel like this person is embarrassed of something like materialistic. I'm not saying they are materialistic, but I feel like it's something physical that they're uh, insecure about here. And I feel like there's embarrassment surrounding that. And they're wanting to get something moving forward with it before they invest. This person, they could be unemployed right now or something of that nature here. That could be what they're hiding. Um, yeah, it just seems like there's a phase they're going through and there's some... Um, shame surrounding it so they're kind of like closing off their heart or being defensive somebody here might have their moon in libra um honestly though i feel like this is going to move forward for a lot of you i feel like it is going to move forward um some of you this could be a cancerian i suppose but you know i do think that it could move forward some of you this could already be energy you've dealt with and you're getting over the hurdle over the weekend here things could finally be progressing Some of you may have to block a Leo or you're having to block something out that a Leo is saying. I suppose that it could just be any fire sign for that matter. Of course, it could be any sign, but they're in fire energy. I just feel like they're too much at this point in time. Like, I just feel like there's a lot that they're laying on you and you don't like you don't have the energy to deal with anybody else's pain or problems. Um, that's kind of the energy that I'm getting here from this individual. So I feel like you're blocking someone or you're just kind of taking a break from them or putting them on mute or something of that nature here. Sagittarius, Nine of Swords. Yeah, because I feel like there's something you've got going on here. It feels like this tension, you know? It just feels like there's a lot of tension. You have a lot of court cards. Could be a lot going on with different people. Now, you know, I reckon it could just be a busy time as well. You know, the wands are like the fastest moving energy, and you do have a page here, which can represent a message, but it can also, like, these are the children of the court cards. These are the errand runners, you know? So I feel like there could just be a lot that you're getting done here. Um, and so, yeah, like, there's somebody who is wanting you to stop and just, like, I don't know how to explain it. Just kind of let them lean on your energy or um, what is it called? Like just emotionally dump on you, I suppose. I don't know, Sagittarius. It's weird though, but um, two, one, four, pinnacle. somebody's holding back plans. Um, there are surprise plans here or hidden. I'm a little nervous from this. Um, you have the two of wands. This can be planning. And then we have the four pinnacles, which can be holding something back. The hangman, potentially a delay or potentially just waiting for the right time. What's going on with this energy? Okay. 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 So this does look positive. This, this right here is good. Okay. Um, now we do have one other thing in the midst here. That's a little bit like it's mildly concerning. So, um, we got the eight of pinnacles. 
really good card. You know, it feels like there is a little bit of a, a delay with something that needs to be worked on. We have the sun here as well. Happiest card in the deck. High vibrations, joy, new beginnings. We have the two of cups, love, connections, um, you know, agreements as well, like negotiations, um, meetings. Uh, we have the ace of cups right here also. So um, a lot of emotion involved. We have the ten of swords though. That's what, you know, it almost feels to me as if somebody is waiting on an ending to happen with someone else before they move towards you. So that is something I would be aware of if I were you. Honestly, though, I feel like for some of you, you may already know that. That may be where that weird living situation is for a small portion of you. Um, but somebody could actually be just completely holding back. They're completely in the shadows, like no communication or anything. They're waiting on something to end. So that could be something that surprises you over the weekend. Um, like there could be a person coming forward and trying to have success with you. I do feel like you're getting recognition for something as well after an ending. So for some of you, this could be a person saying like, hey, you were right, you know, or hey, um, yeah, I wish I would have done that thing. You were right. This is like, this is what I should have been doing the whole time, you know. Um, so I do feel like some of you, that could be the case as well. So yeah, but a lot of people in your energy over the weekend, Sagittarius. Um, that's what I'm seeing. I hope this was helpful or fun. Details are down below for anybody who is interested in personals. Like I said, there are two different options. Um, one is a two-question video read. The other is a three-question video read. If you get the three-question reading, you get it within two business days after purchase. Um, so yeah, everything's down there. If this is where we part, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye.